No, to scare you, we just do have to see what it's on us and there's a higher stack. John C. McGinley a few weeks ago, and he was a really fantastic rider. Um, I've had the privilege of flying with a number of interesting people from around the country, but I certainly enjoyed my flight with him. Nice low here over the runway. That's 225, 250, 270, 280. John, you ready to go flying? I am ready to go flying. And we're going. Yeah, we are. <laughs> a little different than the series this morning, maybe. Holy moly. Roll it up on the left wing here. Give you a chance to look back over your left shoulder there. We'll try to find maybe the camera crew out there in the back of the runway. How quick did we get up? There we go, five thousand feet. All set? I am all set. All right on, we're rolling in. Holy cow. <laughs> so a little, little bit of a unique feeling there. Make sure you look up there and then take a look at the ground. <laughs> if you look on your left display, that number below the airspeed is going to be 300 knots now. There's a, a letter M that says 0.55. Yep. That's our mock number. So when that says 1.00, you're a supersonic. We're at 450 knots, we're 70% supersonic. You can look outside, get a feel for how fast we're moving up the ground. The jet's starting to, to hum a little bit as we speed up. We're at 550 knots, we're at 85% there. You're going to feel a rapid deceleration when we slow down, and that's not me putting the brakes on, that's just the airplane slowing down. We're at 625 knots, there's 98%, 99%. We are supersonic at 1.02 right there. 650 knots, took us about 25 seconds. There's the rapid acceleration as we slow back down. Wow. Okay, Johnny, hang on. Here we go. So this is a little mouth pass just found, so we'll use this. So our ability to get through. Try to stay disguised here behind this terrain. We'll pull up. We don't hit this mountain, obviously, so I'll pull the nose up. We're clear of the mountain. We're rolling the airplane upside down to the backside here. We'll pull back down. We're still masked. That's great. We don't want that radar to find us. One hard turn here to come out this backside. Now we're back to 200 feet. Nice job. Wow, that's extraordinary. So that's how that's done. Now we're back down 200 feet. Hopefully the radar never saw us and we're able to egress. Wow. So this is one of the Star Wars tickets right here. Okay, we're going to go to the right, but we're going to do it kind of a roundabout way here. Hang on for the turn. I'm John Quench those legs. Take a deep breath. Ready, hit it. Nice job. I'm working. The pull is going to be easy from here. Keep breathing. We're doing great. Keep on pulling. We're almost done. Nice work. How many G's pulled there? How many? Six and a half. No. Yep. That's Brian Rice if there's ever been some. <laughs> if you look to the left of the runway, uh, there's a light out there with some green lights that are sideways and a yellow light in the middle. That's the lights we use at the aircraft carrier. So if the yellow lights are right in the middle, like it is now, we're on the right altitude. I'm letting it go high to show you what it looks like. So now they're saying, hey, you're too high, work it down. Now I'm coming back down. They're saying, okay, you're too low, add a little power, so we will. Oh, that is so cool. And that's a pretty normal uh, aircraft carrier landing, except we would have been stopped really fast, obviously. Boy, that was smooth. So I'll pull the stick back a little bit, let their uh, staves dig into the wind, slow us down a kind of bit faster here. Yeah, it's all right, they're through 50 knots. Well, nice work, you made it.
school until until we were up today, and I realized just what the not the, that I knew what the burn rate was, but it occurred to me we gotta get through this stuff. Oh yeah, we burned we burned uh, about nine thousand pounds. Right there. And if you were the bad guy and you were getting through this stuff, uh, gosh, what you just said you, you spend your life looking at the oh, yeah. you see you the you, had, you know how to make it now when you. When you fly it slow, I don't fly too much slow speed stuff. Yeah, we went 130. Yeah, and you'll we'll fly the plane uh, the ship. You'll hold to, before you land. And you'll be holding around 210, 220 knots. And that's when you feel for the way back. It's, it's just idle. You can really play it for a long time. How was your plan? It was completely astonishing. Because Frank kind of walked into it instead of it just being, um, you know, let's see if we can make the celebrity puke. It was. Uh, That's Frank. That sounds like Frank. It was, <laughs> he was just going like, you know, here's what we're gonna do, and then they, you know, the, the hick maneuver that showed me enough, and that seemed to, that seemed to work pretty well. Do you guys still do that, or is it become yeah, we, second, no, we do. second we, nature? We do it completely. It becomes second nature, but you have to you have to um, consciously do it. You crunch your toes, calves, thighs, buttocks, and then you get, you get the blood in your head. You know, most, most right. But you have to you have to physically do it. it doesn't it's not yeah, like you guys got to do that while you're doing nine thousand other things. Well, yeah, but it's fine. You get used to it. That's the greatest. <laughs> Total thrill when the Blue Angels come to here or come to there. Yeah, yeah it is. People, yeah. I mean, I, myself included, you know, it's a big deal. Frank, we flew over some guys on the dunes out there, you know, doing doing their thing. And he went down low for them and he put on the smoke. Don't think those guys aren't going to talk about that for the next 20 years. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. It's the greatest. Next time, I'll talk to Frank about that. <laughs> 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 